Again, with Bob, to see how much we got, how much more we're going to get. Well, the airport, as of well, just a minute ago, we didn't report yet. They had 1.06 inches, so a solid inch. Most places have had even more. You see the rain now beginning to move out of the region. In fact, the next hour or two, look for it to pretty much wind down. Still raining pretty heavily over Delaware, the lower eastern shore, southeast Pennsylvania, particularly up in New Jersey, New York. Oh, the area is still getting quite a bit of rain. West of us, clearing out, but the big change is going to come later tonight. We'll get partly cloudy skies, but things are going to get really whipped out <laughs> as this rain begins to move out across the region. Yes, it will clear out. 61 now, 41 in Oakland. Colder air, drier air begin to move later tonight. 65, Rehoboth and Ocean City, 60 in Napa. So this evening, if you're heading out, rain is tapering off already by 4 or 5 o'clock most areas. By 6, it'll be pretty much done all across the state. Winds picking up 15 to 25. Late tonight, the winds could gust up to 40 miles an hour, and that will continue into tomorrow. Meg is looking at that wind we're expecting during the day tomorrow. Meg? Yes, indeed. Hello there, Bob. So as this low pressure moves offshore, high pressure moves in, we are really going to see the winds pick up. So you can certainly tell where the cold front has moved through because we still have some of these winds here out of the south and then colliding with these westerly winds. So once the front moves through, that's when we're really going to see things start to pick up. Want to show you what we can expect. So keep in mind, these are sustained future winds. So we're talking right around 20 miles an hour tonight as we head out the door tomorrow morning. Sustained winds right around 17 miles an hour and then picking up to 20 to 25 in the afternoon. It's the gust though that could get us. So gusts potentially up to 40 miles an hour so far. We only have wind advisories in effect for far western Maryland, but we could see wind strong enough uh, to in actually end up seeing some of those advisories here. Of course, we'll keep you posted on that and time it all out for you in the full forecast. Vic?